Hello everyone, this is the second edition of of the four part series that I've been doing about the some of the uh, descriptions of the Messiah on uh, the Messianic prophecies on what was the Messiah set out to do, amongst other things. I'll, I'm just picking up four. Those four are not set in stone up the, as the only ones. They have other ones in the Jewish tradition, but I'm just picking up what I believe is the four ones that uh, Jesus did and 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 I'm saying per to perfection. Okay. Now uh, that does not overshadow any of the other ones, or that does not dismiss any one of them. I'm just picking these four just to show you. Okay. And these were some of the high priority ones. Okay. Now uh, and just going right into it here, the second one, um, the second job of the Messiah was to cleanse the temple. He would come and cleanse the temple and make it a uh, a place of right praise okay uh, now what do we see Jesus doing after his entrance into Jerusalem what is the first thing he do he does sorry he goes to the temple and chases out the money changers overthrows tables and just making a, a, a ruckus um, a, 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 um, just disturbing uh, 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 the, the norm of what was going around there which is one of the reasons why I mean, one of, if not the reason why, he was persecuted to, to his execution. And we always see Jesus in, in one of the other passages, and uh, Jesus is saying that, you know, you destroy this temple, and in three days I will rise it again. So Jesus is saying, in reference, if you guys remember one of my other videos, when Jesus assumes authority, um, uh, you know, um, over scripture, or um, it just assumes the power of God, Jesus is saying, there is one that is greater than the temple. One greater than the temple is here. So he assumes the, the greatness of the temple in him. So once the temple has been purified, or when once he purifies the temple, then the temple will become a place of right praise. And he says, once you crash, or once you destroy this temple, I will build it up myself. And he builds this temple up when he resurrects it. And what do we see the disciples do? And if we go at the end of the Gospels, you go in the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. The disciples, particularly Peter and John, are always at the temple, praising God, doing miracles, to the point where they were sent to prison, they were flogged. Jesus comes in and cleanses the temple from within, to the point where during his... One, when he died, the the uh, the robe or the particular uh, uh, curtain that separated the inner temple from the outer temple, the holy of holies, to the people outside was torn, not from the top, from not from the bottom down, not not from the top, from not from the bottom up. I'm sorry, not from the from the bottom up, but from the top down. Meaning that God ripped it apart due to the fact that the temple has been purified. That now, and what we see is, according to the prophet Isaiah, once the temple has been purified, the nations will come. So Jesus came in and, and completely, you know, revolutionized and amplified the work in himself by cleansing the temple and making it a, a place of right praise. Right? And, and, and he dwells within all of us. Now that doesn't mean that the Eucharistic celebration that happens at church is not important. What is important is, is to realize that within yourself, because of Jesus Christ, you're able to offer um, you know, sacrifices, you're able to offer your life experiences, your struggles, your, your difficulties to God using your temple because the Holy Spirit dwells in you. So Jesus gives us that opportunity not only to have a outward temple, which is the church, but to also have an inward temple, which is your body, your soul, and and to connect these two together and to give glory and praise to God is just a wonderful thing. So Jesus is doing what he did by um, you know putting the the twelve tribes of Israel together, doing it within his community and outwards. Jesus is doing it within ourselves and outside as well, which is a beautiful thing. So that's what I had uh, for you guys today. I'll make it very plain and short because um, I wanted to get to the crux of the matter, one of my favorite topics. But 
that is it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please below. Um, and uh, thank you very much for watching. We love you. Thank you very much for keeping me in your prayers. And I'll keep you in mind. God love you. Be saints. Take care.